The Siberian Husky is a medium-sized working sled dog breed. The breed belongs to the Spitz genetic family. It is recognizable by its thickly furred double coat, erect triangular ears, and distinctive markings, and is smaller than the similar-looking Alaskan Malamute. Hello guys! Welcome to another video from the Animal Planet Adventures channel. Today we are going to talk about the Siberian Husky dog. What kind of breed is this breed? The complete description of the Siberian Husky is given in this video. Without wasting time, we continue the video. Siberian Huskies originated in Northeast Asia where they are bred by the Chukchi people of Siberia for sled pulling and companionship. It is an active, energetic, resilient breed, whose ancestors lived in the extremely cold and harsh environment of the Siberian Arctic. William Gusick, a Russian fur trader, introduced them to Nome, Alaska, during the Nome Gold Rush, initially as sled dogs to work the mining fields and for expeditions through otherwise impassable terrain. Today, the Siberian Husky is typically kept as a house pet, though they are still frequently used as sled dogs by competitive and recreational mushers. Number 1. Lineage. The Siberian Husky was originally developed by the Chukchi people of the Chukchi Peninsula in eastern Siberia. They were brought to Nome, Alaska in 1908 to serve as working sled dogs, and were eventually developed and used for sled dog racing. In 2015, a DNA study indicated that the Siberian Husky, the Alaskan Malamute and the Alaskan Husky share a close genetic relationship between each other and were related to Chukotka sled dogs from Siberia. They were separate to the two Inuit dogs, the Canadian Eskimo dog and the Greenland dog. In North America, the Siberian Husky and the Malamute both had maintained their Siberian lineage and had contributed significantly to the Alaskan Husky, which was developed through crossing with European breeds. Siberian Huskies show a genetic affinity with historical East Siberian dogs and ancient Lake Baikal dogs, and can be traced to a lineage which is over 9,500 years old. Number 2. Eyes. The American Kennel Club describes the Siberian Husky's eyes as an almond shape, moderately spaced and set slightly obliquely. The AKC breed standard is that eyes may be brown, blue or black. One of each or particolored are acceptable. These eye color combinations are considered acceptable by the American Kennel Club. The party color does not affect the vision of the dog. Number 3. Nose. Show quality dogs are preferred to have neither pointed nor square noses. The nose is black in gray dogs, tan in black dogs, liver in copper colored dogs, and maybe light tan in white dogs. In some instances, Siberian Huskies can exhibit what is called snow nose or winter nose. This condition is called hypopigmentation in animals. Snow nose is acceptable in the show ring. Number 4. Tail. Siberian Husky tails are heavily furred. These dogs will often curl up with their tails over their faces and noses in order to provide additional warmth. When curled up to sleep the Siberian Husky will cover its nose for warmth, often referred to as the Siberian Swirl. The tail should be expressive, held low when the dog is relaxed, and curved upward in a sickle shape when excited or interested in something. Number 5. Behavior. The husky usually howls instead of barking. They have been described as escape artists, which can include digging under, chewing through, or even jumping over fences. Because the Siberian husky had been raised in a family setting by the Chukchi and not left to fend for themselves, they could be trusted with children. The ASPCA classifies the breed as good with children. It also states they exhibit high energy indoors, have special exercise needs, and may be destructive without proper care. Siberian Huskies have a high prey drive due to the Chukchi allowing them to roam free in the summer. The dogs hunted in packs and preyed on wild cats, birds, and squirrels, but with training can be trusted with other small animals. They would only return to the Chukchi villages when the snow returned and food became scarce. Their hunting instincts can still be found in the breed today, noted by their typically high prey drive. Siberian Huskies were ranked 77th out of 138 compared breeds for their intelligence by canine psychologist Stanley Corin. However, the rankings in Corin's published work utilized only one of three defined forms of dog intelligence, working and obedience intelligence. 
which focused on trainability, a dog's ability to follow direction and commands in a direct context, specifically by trial judges in a controlled course setting. The Siberian Huskies work as a sled dog, with minimal active direction from a driver, and a driver's reliance on the dogs to make their own decisions in poor conditions, utilizes the other two forms, instinctive intelligence, and adaptive intelligence, to a much greater extent. Number 6. Health. A 1999 ASPCA publication shows the average lifespan of the Siberian Husky is 12 to 14 years. Health issues in the breed are mainly genetic, such as seizures and defects of the eye and congenital laryngeal paralysis. Hip dysplasia is not often found in this breed, however, as with many medium or larger sized canines, it can occur. The Orthopedic Foundation for Animals currently has the Siberian Husky ranked 155th out of a possible 160 breeds at risk for hip dysplasia, with only 2% of tested Siberian Huskies showing dysplasia. Siberian Huskies used for sled racing may also be prone to other ailments, such as gastric disease, bronchitis or bronchopulmonary ailments and gastric erosions or ulcerations. Modern Siberian Huskies registered in the U.S. are almost entirely the descendants of the 1930 Siberia imports and of Leonard Sepala's dogs, particularly Togo. The limited number of registered foundational dogs has led to some discussion about their vulnerability to the founder effect. Number 7. History. Huskies were extensively used as sled dogs by the British Antarctic Survey in Antarctica between 1945 and 1994. A bronze monument to all of BAS's dog teams sits outside its Cambridge headquarters. In 1960, the U.S. Army undertook a project to construct an under-the-ice facility for defense and space research, Camp Century. Part of Project Iceworm involved a 150-plus crew who also brought with them an unofficial mascot, a Siberian husky named Mucklick. Due to their high popularity combining with their high physical and mental needs, Siberians are abandoned or surrendered to shelters at high rates by new owners who do not research them fully and find themselves unable to care for them. Many decide on the breed for their looks and mythos in pop culture, and purchase pups from backyard breeders or puppy mills who do not have breeder return contracts that responsible breeders will design to keep the breed out of shelters. Sled dogs that were bred and kept by the Chukchi tribes of Siberia were thought to have gone extinct, but Benedict Allen, writing for Geographical Magazine in 2006 after visiting the region, reported their survival. His description of the breeding practiced by the Chukchi mentions selection for obedience, endurance, amiable disposition, and sizing that enabled families to support them without undue difficulty. Thank you for watching the video so far. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.